I am drinking my juice. And I am liking it through all the... The Colorado Marshals are the bulwark that protects our borders and keeps us safe in our beds. If you believe you are strong enough to stand against the darkness and savagery that assail us from all sides, then join us. It would be an honor to have you at our side. Visit your local marshal station today and ask them what it takes to join and make me proud. When he's all talk, but no walk. Avoiding the gas, the green daddy parlay. There is no merchant. The RIP is back. Are y'all listening? This one is for the newly in love. Hope your heart's not gonna bleed too much. Ow! How do you do? Let's try that again. No? I assure you, your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Amanda, but not you. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Welcome to the bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. I have not seen you here. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or, if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. Oh, a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. But nothing our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranoff, Mannerite missionary, merchant, and your humble servant. I was assigned to answer any questions you may have. Felicitations. Ah, I thank you. It is a pleasure to meet people. I endeavor to provide the teachings of Mr. Manners to those inside the bazaar. Alas, they seem to prefer that I spread the good word out here instead. A folly, I think. But who am I to question our gracious hosts? You do seem like people of refined taste, without a doubt. But a man of class does not abandon his employer at an inopportune moment. Friends, go inside. Speak to Mr. Jacob Martin. Or as others call him, Flab. When the bazaar is safe again, my conscience will be clear 
and I will be most pleased to join you. <laughs> Such a polite sentiment. Thankfully, Mr. Manners teaches us to always have a spare suit. I could not leave a fellow civilized soul in dire need. It is common wisdom to keep one's mouth shut when one lacks courteous things to say. Truly, I find the very idea of... If I were a less discreet person, I'd suggest that you drive out to the old parking garage down the road to the north. Who knows? You may find your answers there. Naturally, I have a variety of goods for sale that could suit your needs. This way, friends. If civilization collapses, all of Colorado Springs will look like this. The Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners, Chapter 1, on the proper use of etiquette. It is a common misconception that etiquette exists as a means of affirming one's social status at the expense of the uninitiated. That uh, hi! Hey there! Hi! Yeah, I'm Paris, trying to get into the bazaar to sell my dyes. Same as you, I imagine. They get refugees? Don't know about that. I mean, everyone here looks like they're... Try Ananda. He's this really well-dressed guy. Comes out here a lot preaching... I'm trying to become a licensed merchant in the bazaar. The monster army says I gotta make a dye the exact color of blood. Which is hard. Because everyone's got an opinion, but no one can agree on the... Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know anything about dyes, huh? It'd be just peaches if you could help. Decoration, I suppose? Or... Uh, I don't know, really. Them? They're hoping someone would sell them an entrance pass or help them get inside. The bazaar's got this code, you see? Unless you're a big shot Flab can't do without, you're not allowed to come in. And, um, Flab's uh, the leader of the bazaar. He's a big guy, which is why everyone calls him Flab, you know? It's kind of mean, but Flab doesn't seem to mind, so what? So long! Felicitations. Then I will endeavor to supply more answers. Hmm, of course. Our immediate environs are a safe area, protected by the monster army. Wander outside these confines, and safety is not guaranteed. They are the organization in charge of the bazaar. I've heard tales that once they were truly a monstrous gang, spreading fear all throughout Colorado. They are led by Mr. Jacob Martin, Colloquially known as Flab the Inhaler. A man who has truly embraced his position and leads this place with panache. I do wish he had a better tailor, though. You can find him inside the bazaar proper, as he rarely ventures outside. Ha! Ah, true cosmopolites, I see. Indeed, a Mannerite is one of the rare few fortunate enough to operate under the auspice of Mr. We Mannerites believe that poise is only second to godliness. To live is to comport oneself with exquisite grace. If you're curious, I'd be more than happy to supply a copy of our holiest scripture. The book may it help you as much as it did me, and find your path to a life of civility. I can only hope I will have the answers you seek. But of course. I thought you said you knew a guy who could get us in. Look. Ah, ha! I see you have come from afar. 
Well, your travels are amply reward. Yes, I know, I know. Your ears can scarce believe what you're seeing. Ah, but it is indeed I, wisely chosen. Those who do not prepare. To begin, you must think of your favorite color. Concentrate solely on the color. Let the color come. I see an ocean of waves. Yep. It was black, Your obviously. Your color but... is blue. Of course, of course. The great Gern is never wrong. Ah, an image of your future is forming. Hmm. Now tell me, what is it that brought you to Colorado? Ah, the most noble of sentiments. The image begins to grow clearer. Now I must know. Yes, yes, fascinating. It's all coming together now. Your noble intent will drive you into great danger, but also great opportunity. Ride the three-headed goat. Now I can clearly see you. Standing before a red balloon, the red... <laughs> that is uh, all I can see. Your path is hard, Mamons. The fates have spoken to me. I must give you this key. May it be of no... Uh, Flab is a cabron who wouldn't recognize talent if it bit him in the belly. He claims the monster army already has some kind of mechanical fortune teller. But how could a machine possibly match? Flab is the leader of the monster arm. Beware the red balloon! Howdy, strangers. Name Six Fingered Larry. Hunter. Though, it seems you find me plumb out of wares. Him? <laughs> you don't want him. Barrett's got a bit of an attitude problem. Tried to peck his way through a kid's skull the other week. If you insist, though, you'll have to talk to Polly yourself, because I got no say in what he... Who knows? I've only got five fingers on each hand. Say Maybe it's got something to do with the fact I'm good with my hands. <laughs> I'm not the sort who'd kiss and tell, though. Only that they make more money than I do. But to answer your question... Nah. I'm an honest businessman. I don't waste my time with criminals. Why don't you try the Mannerite? Yeah, the, the one with the suit. He oh, hey, Polly, you hear that, old buddy? These fine folks would like to... Larry, my buddy, my pal. <laughs> oh, shit. That's how it fucking sounds to me, Larry. Sounds like some fucking bullshit. <laughs> Wasting your time with this asshole. Talk to Polly. Talk to he wants you to gag on weak old shit leaking from a dead guy's <laughs> ass. Listen, shit for braves. Someone has to stick around to make Larry's life miserable. That's my job. I love that job. You hear that, Larry? Fuck you! <laughs> I'll take the parents, come on! <laughs> Circus reject. I mean, you look like someone grafted a squid to a disease vulva. But when you're right, you are. All right, he's yours if you pay the price. This sounds about fair, don't you think? Hell no! Hey, jizz for brains, Larry. Give them a discount or I'll... All right. All right. That price was a little high. How about this? Yeah, something's not right with you. But you have my respect. Yes, finally free at last! Ha ha ha! Larry! Larry, yes, shit's like! At last I can tell you with complete sincerity! I should go and leave the parrot at the headquarters. But I can suppose it will die here. 
at some point if I don't heavily heal it. God damn it. Why is it only him? What the hell happened? That was not good. I didn't know it was a suicide robot. It was picking up talents. Fuck off, man. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Might as well spread them if nothing else. He leveled up at the right time. Okay. Is he the only one? I mean, it's no fucking use, it would just blow up the whole thing. He's the fucking only one because I have maxed speed on him. So he has <coughs> massive initiative. It's a good back. thing. Are you all listening? This one is for the newly in love. Hope your because they self-destruct after competence.
Хорошо. Where do I check the dots? Well, that one gave me 15 constitution. And I got one more somewhere. I guess I should not sell any junk items at this point. So everyone gets plus one perception plus fifteen constitution. Fuck fucking yeah. That's interesting. What the hell happened with the cat? There is something here. No.
that balloon. Just like Gurn said. I like this. There, see how easy that is? Not bad, Gabriel. Now do it again. Bullseye! Eso es bueno. We'll make a killer out of you yet. Oh yeah, that one is Tom Muerto. Good shot, cabron. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why? Eso es bueno. We'll make a killer out of you yet. Oh yeah, that one is Tom Muerto. Good shot, cabron. Now you're. Doesn't fucking click.
Okay, okay. Okay. Careful. Might be clowns in there. Oh crap, what the hell is that? What the bloody Oh fuck fuck. Am I getting hurt? Awareness. Yes. I have to boost her awareness to the max. Motherfucker actually caught on fire. That's great. Oh, I got them all right. No, okay. What the hell is going on here, dude? can take the damage No, the robot does not take damage Don't fucking tell me they're immune to fire oh. I am fucking clueless what the fuck is going on here This cone is actually good.
Yeah, the ambush stuff is really good. Among. Bienvenidos to Dr. Smile's orthodontic practice. Think of me as your friendly dental dilettante. Ah, oh, delightful! A fellow connoisseur. Don't fret, cuspids are my favorite, but I'll gladly take all your teeth. Now, you have an appointment, yes? No, no, your teeth will be mine! <laughs> Oh, good. Thirty eight. Actually, wasted all the ammo. 